know, the incredible team that built this, built this system and has overcome all these challenges along the way. The moment that I'm looking forward most is the moment that that first shipload of plastic comes back into port. And, uh, you know, that's something that we've been looking forward to for all these years, because from that point onwards, it's proven technology. And for 60 years, man has been putting plastic into the ocean. And from that day onwards, we're taking it uh, back out again. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty incredible. I mean, something that we've been working towards for five years and just having it seen from the, the early conceptual sketches to you know, now the first unit actually going through the Golden Gate and heading to the garbage patch is pretty incredible. So right now, you know, millions of tons of plastic pollute the world's oceans, um, and uh, you know, it, it damages ecosystems. It ends up in the food chain, uh, causing potential health threats with, for humans that eat fish as well. Uh, UN says it costs 13 billion dollars per year to, um, you know, to uh, in terms of damages for fisheries, for tourism. So. Um, of course, main priority should be preventing more plastic from entering the oceans. Uh, but at the, at the same time, there's already 60 years of pollution that has been done, which doesn't go away by itself. So the sooner we clean that up, the, the better it is. Yeah, today is an exciting day and it's beautiful to see the system actually moving along in the in the ocean seeing it this close and it's a bit of a celebration of how far we've come but we're not there yet so a lot still needs to happen um, there is going to be a few hectic months of gathering information drawing conclusions learning from it uh, making uh, uh, makeshift or, or other improvements um, uh, and of course we hope to actually start landing plastic before the end of the year and if we manage to do that we believe we have successfully proven the concept. Even if the ocean cleanup works, if we actually don't stop the flow of plastic into the ocean in the first place, it's going to be a never-ending exercise. An analogy is if you have a pipe burst in your basement, the first thing you do is turn off the burst pipe. You don't find a bucket and start to bail. So our understanding of the ocean cleanup is that it's essentially a large net that's going to hang in the environment and presumably collect plastic. But we know that nets also entangle a lot of other marine wildlife. So it could entangle fish, it could entangle marine mammals like whales and dolphins and seals, uh, and it could even interact with seabirds. We don't really know if that's going to be the case, but I think it is a risk and it's one that the scientific community is worried about.
Ocean Cleanup got started because we really want to improve the environment. We want to um, improve the oceans. We want to save any endangered marine life which is being hurt by the plastic that's uh, out there. So the last thing we want is to come up with a solution that will do more harm to animals uh, than is already being done uh, to it by the plastic being present. So we have taken every care that we could to implement in our design safety features, uh, preventing any animals being caught, being uh, entangled, being hurt in any other way. And we will continue to monitor that and improve on that. Well, I think humanity can do more than one thing at the same time. Um, sure, you know, prevention is super important, but um, you know, even if you were to close the tap today, this garbage patch would still be there in one year, it will still be there in 10 years, it will probably still be there in 100 years, right? So, um, uh, yeah, and this is you know, the best way we could come up with to do it. Um, you know, if anyone has any better ideas, they're welcome to try it out.